All right, I think we'll do one more segment, and I'm actually not going to lead with lead with the, the water part. Mm-hmm. We're going to do Artemis Project. Oh, let's talk about that. So yes, this next segment has to do with part of the State of the Union address from Donald Trump when he said he wanted us to push and pursue the Artemis Project, which would get us, I'm just going to paraphrase it, but we're going to read this from the NASA website. What does Donald Trump really want? He wants a moon base, which will eventually be our launch pad to go to Mars. How is that not like the coolest thing? It's so cool. It's so cool. But you know, there's so I'm many. I'm so into this. There are so many people who just hate the guy. Yeah. It's like, I don't, okay, fine. I don't care. But come on, man. This is awesome. Can we get Americans to rally around going to Mars? Let's get the, at least, the world together. At least Elon to Musk is something. building a starship. I mean, right. Let's get the world together to come together on these these missions. Yeah. Check this out. Let's, let's pull we this up. something like that. This is from July 25th, 2019. We do have another story that might be interesting. We can tack onto this. But let's just learn about what the Artemis Project is. The NASA website says, NASA is committed to landing American astronauts, including the first women and the next man, on the moon by 2024. Whoa, close. Awesome. Through the agency's Artemis Lunar Exploration Program, we will use innovative new technologies and systems to explore more of the moon than ever before. We will collaborate with our commercial and international partners to establish sustainable missions by 2028. And then we will use what we learn on and around the moon to take the next giant leap sending astronauts to mars cool yes please this is cool let me let me let me, let me i want to read this they say why go to the moon how do we get there we'll, we'll go through this let me just tell you man i see a lot of these millennials post things where they're like i was born too or uh, too late to explore the earth but too early to explore the stars no you weren't nah first of all just because we have satellite pictures of the earth doesn't mean there's nothing left to explore yeah you just have to actually want to be an explorer but most people don't yeah they want the, people, the fame I don't they, they want the the idea of yeah, what it is, maybe you know, that's what it is, but come yeah. on, man, you realize that the early explorers were like walking around with, you know, dysentery and like they had no <laughs> food and they were eating rabbit. Yeah. And they were like thousands of miles away from any other humans. Exactly. Yeah. It wasn't fun. Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, I understand now, like if you want to go to space, you need massive and insane resources and only right. a few people can do it. Or the brains. But hey, man, fill up, fill up your knapsack, take all your supplies and go walk through the junk, the undiscovered, you know, unexplored regions of the Amazon or whatever. Should we, uh, should we read about why we're going to the moon? Yeah, let's do that. So they ask, why go to the moon? Will the Artem- well, uh, with the Artemis program, we will demonstrate new technologies, capabilities, and business approaches needed for future exploration, including Mars. Establish American leadership and a strategic presence on the moon while expanding our U.S. global economic impact. Broaden our commercial and international partnerships. Inspire a new generation and encourage careers in STEM. Yes. Are we going to mine the moon? Is there anything there? I hope not. No. I mean, mining, How crazy. mining asteroids makes sense to me. But not the Have moon. you seen The Expanse? Yeah. Awesome yeah. show. Yeah, that's awesome cool. It's, it, it's, it's like a reality that could possibly happen. Yeah. You know, and it's like we're out in the solar system mining like water from asteroids. And it, that makes sense. We're going to need water from something. Yeah. I just found an article that says that we might be ready to mine on the moon by 2025. But what's there? I don't know. We are going to have to talk about this. There's a lot of stuff there, though. What is on the moon? Because isn't the moon a big chunk of the Earth? Let me see. Well, I'll read while you look things up. How do we get there? NASA's powerful new rocket, the Space Launch System, will send astronauts uh, aboard the Orion spacecraft nearly a quarter million miles from Earth to lunar orbit. Astronauts will dock Orion at the Gateway and transfer to a human landing system for expeditions to the surface of the moon, they will return to the orbital outpost to board Orion again before re- returning safely to Earth. Do you think they're going to be working with Elon and SpaceX? Yeah, well, aren't they already doing it? Like, isn't isn't he already sending supplies to the International Space Station? Yeah, but, I, I mean, this feels like they're trying to, like, do it on their own. Did you ever see that tweet I sent to Elon Musk? No. Nah. So, oh, I heard about it. Yeah, yeah. For, for just, I, I was just bored, and I tweeted at Elon Musk, "Hey, at Elon Musk, why haven't you built yourself an Iron Man suit yet?" And he responded, "Working on Starship." And I got all excited. I saw, I, 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 my phone started vibrating <laughs> like so crazy, cool. and I'm like, "What is this?" Like, I got, I got a good amount of followers, okay? Mm-hmm. So I get notifications, but this was nuts. Yeah. And so then I looked, and I see you responded, and I was all excited. I responded, "This is an acceptable response." And I was like, Dope. made my week, made my month. I yeah. was like, so cool. We're still talking but about it, it. But it also was like, I think genuinely cool that Elon kind of engages that way. Yeah. Because even something silly like that, I think was probably inspirational to a lot of people. True. I was joking. I'm like, dude, Elon Musk is super rich. He should make an Iron Man suit. You but, know it's crossed his mind. 
Oh, for sure, man. <laughs> An Iron Man suit. But but now he's he's actually building a starship. That's and pretty jokes cool. like that, I think, will inspire people. Yeah. One of the one of the greatest things that happened to America was the space race. The country came together with this great mission, this yeah. unifying force. And right now we're so divided and everyone hates each other. The challenge is there are a lot of people who don't care about any of this stuff. In fact, they hate it. I think it was more than just America, too. It was like we were racing against another country and it wasn't an arms race in a sense. You it was know? an inspiration. Yeah, race. it was like we're trying to get kind to of. the moon. We're trying to. And they were working together in some senses, you know, like and then we've actually used Russia's rockets to get into space over well, there the was, past, you know, whoever knows how long. There was a cool. It's a, there was a fear that if we didn't together. get access to space, they would have weapons that surpassed us. Right. And then they could attack us. Right. right. So that makes sense that it, was, it is basically an arms race. That so we, we didn't we, really talk about. Right. But but there was so much that inspired the country when everyone, you know, wanted to watch the moon landing and all that stuff. Yeah. That it. It inspired people to become engineers and stuff. What's interesting is the age yeah. of uh, NASA's engineers today. I think back then it was like in the 20s. They were in their 20s. And today it's like they're in their 40s. Yeah. Because like people don't want to work there. People don't want to be, you know, this, this discoverers of new worlds and, you know, new realms or whatever. I think one of the big challenges is our technology. We use physical hard fuels yeah. for propulsion. And there's limits to how much weight and and, the, and how fast you can go. Maybe we won't ever get interspatial like warp drive or anything like that. But we really got it. We, we really have to figure out how to travel faster than we can understand right now. Yeah. Well, it's, didn't the solar sail work? Like the first one know. blew up, and then really? they, yeah, they they brought out the second one last year sometime, and it works. I don't know. It's slow. There is like but some works, some I crazy think. engine I was reading about where mm -hmm. it's like a self-contained propulsion. Is it the M drive? Is that what it is? Where I, it fires so. like photons? Yeah, yeah. And then I they hit so. the back creating minor. Just a little tiny bit. Yeah. But it is propulsion, right? Yeah. So yeah, they can, yeah. it's an internal engine. I think That's it's so the M weird. drive. But, we, but I think maybe the problem right now is we're, we're, we're essentially like, you know, the Pacific Islanders with little boats. You know, we don't have these big frigates and galleons to take us yep. on the high seas. Right. You know, like the, to use a battle reference. Star, yeah, battle maybe stars. maybe once the Artemis project gets launched and we're on the moon, yeah, yeah. we then have a way to start ferrying, you know, resources. Well, if we start even, building it in space, then we're not going to have to exactly, escape gravity. Exactly. Right. So even if we're on the moon, escaping the moon is a lot easier. Right. So we're basically there, and that's why we go from the moon yeah. to Mars. So I don't know. If, have you guys seen Ad Astra? I haven't seen it yet. I thought it was really good. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I'll check it out. I like but it, space but it's, movies. But it's definitely not for everybody. Okay. Because it's very slow. But it was cool to see how like the moon port looked like an airport. That's like I think that they have like a Hardee's and like you know <laughs> yeah. Hard Rock Cafe or whatever. Yeah. Well, that's and the future though. It looks like an airport. Yeah. And they treat it like one. And then there's like dark zones with like space bandits, literally like people on rovers. You know, trying to steal stuff and like, Whoa. like pirates. Cool. But then that's that. But in the movie, that's what they do. They you, you go to the moon first, mm -hmm. and then you go to Mars, and it's like very early on, relatively in the Mars colony. Oh, okay. But man, if if there's anything I'd hope for, it's that the mission of the world, and all of the people would be to colonize Mars, to to make it to the stars, to build better technology, and stop fighting over things that make don't, they don't matter yeah but i'll tell you wonderful but here's the problem right there are people in this country in this world that are mad at at elon musk why would you waste money on a spaceship to go to mars when you could pay for the health care of people because they don't realize what what nasa's talking about is that a lot of the technology we take for granted was developed in the space race, was developed by this kind of research and, 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 and space faring research kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna, look, that money's still gonna be spent here. It's gonna go in the economy and we're gonna develop new technologies that are gonna make life better for everybody. Right. But more importantly, what's your life mission? They don't have one. It's just to live. And be angry at other people. And be, and, and, <laughs> and, and morally outraged. Yeah. For me, my, my mission is to expand, you know, humanity. It's, it's kind of like, it's, it's tough. You know, I didn't grow up and go to school and become an astronaut and try and push humanity to the stars, but I certainly want to make sure that that's a function of what we do. I want to go on Flost in Paradise. You know what I'm talking about? Fifth Element? What? It's the space cruise. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Where they they flip over. They're like, we're going to go to the other side of the planet and just flip over. And so you get a beautiful view of the the sunset. And it's like, yeah, I want that. I want to go on a space cruise. I just saw this movie. (laughs) I forgot what it's called. But they're going on a trip, I think, to Mars. I think. I can't remember. And they're in this massive ship. And they they get an unexpected asteroid collision. Mm -hmm. And they use a massive burst of fuel to dodge it, which puts them off course. Okay. And then they're gone. And they don't have enough fuel to turn around. So they just keep going. And it's like the movie takes place over how like this this ship, which was not meant to be. Yeah. yeah. It was like people spent their entire lives there. Yeah, it's a movie. Okay. And I think it might be in a different language. I'm not sure. Okay. Maybe I'm not. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Sounds cool. I forgot what it's called. It's on Hulu, I think. Mm. And then basically it's sad movie. I'm going to spoiler alert for anybody who actually might end up wanting to see it. But they they never make it back. And then. The movie ends where it's like 65 million years later oh. and the ship is just a ghost ship yeah and it's full Still of like floating along just, just just like decay like nothing inside yeah and it makes it to an earth-like planet and just like start i think it like just they just show show it pulling up <laughs> yeah it's a, it's it's scary it's creepy it's they're doing cool. like a comedy show kind of like this really where they're on a yeah i swear to god it's gonna be like a hbo or something where they're on a, a big space vessel that gets knocked off course yeah like it's made by the people who do veep or something I'm serious. Okay. Yeah. yeah, cool. Thanks. All right, let's read. Uh, let's just read a little bit, a little bit more about what we're going to do, and then we'll wrap this one up. First of all, they say we will get there. They said, uh, "What was I saying? 2021? Ahead wow. of the human return, we will send a suite of science instruments and technology demonstrations to the lunar surface through commercial moon deliveries beginning in 2021. Whoa. That is amazing. That's that's next year. The agency will fly two missions around the moon to test its deep space exploration systems. NASA is working toward launching Artemis One, an uncrewed flight to test the SLS and Orion spacecraft together, followed by the Artemis II mission, the first SLS and Orion test flight with crew. NASA will land astronauts on the moon by 2024 on the Artemis III mission, about one year thereafter. I'm sorry, man. Oh, this is happening. Trump, Trump called for this and called for us to push forward. I will absolutely yeah. support his endeavor in this regard. That is cool. What will we do there? Find a new... Uh, so this is... Oh, wait, wait. While Mars remains our horizon goal, yes... We, we have set our sights first on exploring the entire surface of the moon with human and robotic explorers. We will send astronauts to new, new locations, starting with the lunar south pole. At the moon, we will find and use water and other critical resources needed for long-term exploration, investigate the moon's mysteries, and learn more about our home planet and the universe, learn how to live and operate on the surface of another celestial body where astronauts are just three days from home, prove the technologies we need before sending astronauts on missions to Mars, which can take up to three years round trip. Wow. Do you have what it takes for a three-year trip? Nah. And you're probably going to be with only a couple people. No, nah, I'm not going to Mars. I don't want to go to Mars. I, I, I read that uh, they want couples to do it. Oh, really? Yeah. That makes sense. And I think I think if it's Mentally just... Mentally makes sense, yeah. You know, I've, like, I, have you seen the movie Passengers? With um, um, yes. Jennifer Lawrence yeah, and yeah. Chris Pratt? I never finished it, actually. I'm, I'd be willing to say... If you were in a relationship with somebody and it was the only other person, mm-hmm. no matter what happened, you'd probably still find a way to always get back together because you literally have no choice and I you'd guess. go insane in solitary confinement. Yeah. I don't like movies where it's just like not telling the truth and that's the plot twist. Right. It's like, oh, I just didn't tell you. It's, it's so like dumb. almost every Ben somebody, Stiller movie. Right. <laughs> you know, I just, I can't do somebody, those but, but somebody did a re-edit where they said if you take act two mm-hmm. and make it act one, it becomes way better. Interesting. If the movie starts with Jennifer Lawrence waking up uh-huh. and you don't know oh, what that, Chris Pratt Cra- yeah, was doing. Yeah, that would have been better. You're right. Because then you're not in you're in, you're in the mystery. You yes. don't know what happened. Yeah, I probably would have liked then, it much more. Then it, show, it goes back to show you what he really did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been way better. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this. I certainly believe a mission to Mars will not be like the movie Passengers. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a three-year <laughs> trip. How long do you think it is until we see like three a years. McDonald's arch on the moon? I don't know. I don't know. Because, you know, you're a big old billboard floating in the sky for all of humanity to see. It's like the best billboard. But why would it be McDonald's? I just make it out. Subway. I'm just making a joke. Subway. There's more subways. There is, what? isn't there? there? There are more subways. There are more subways in McDonald's. I really thought you would say Chick fil A. Not gonna no. lie. I mean, they're doing, Chick fil A is doing really well. But <laughs> uh, all these TV shows, they're always like, I, what was I just watching where it was like the year's 2020 and it showed like a space mission? I can't remember. What, it was from like the 90s or whatever. Yeah, I love that. The 2020, th- like this year was like was so far into the future. I'm like, what did we accomplish? We got 
angry no. people on social media yelling about, <laughs> yeah. you know, where's the flying cars, the chicken, the chicken shop. I want the flying cars. It's like we were promised. Actually, no, I don't. I take that back. We were I prom- think people suck at driving. So yeah. we, we were promised hoverboards <laughs> and uh, clothes that would resize themselves and t- shoes that would tie themselves. And what do we get? Well, I can say this. Nike did make those shoes, didn't they? Yeah, it's like a did. gag. Yeah, yeah. No, I, no, they're real. Oh, wait, they, wait. they made them. They're expensive, I, but they, I, I they can work. I can't say one thing. I did not make this up. I got it off the internet somewhere. What we did get was a device that we can hold in, we can put in our pockets that contains or gives us access to the summation of human knowledge. That's pretty cool. I use it to look at pictures of cats and argue with strangers on the internet. <laughs> great humans, you did a great job. Good job. Now, how about we go to Mars? I All love right. it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go <laughs> to Mars. Right, gonna, we'll wrap this up uh, here. We'll. We'll grab the remaining super chats and then I'm going to pass out because I, I got very little sleep. We, we were, were building uh, sound engineering stuff. So I ended up staying up till like, you know, 1230 last night, waking up at 6 a.m. Yeah, it's cool. We're building a, a full on music room. It's going to be sweet. Plus, we got uh, trees planted and stuff. There's a lot of work to expand because we're going to be using the outdoor area for a ton of other stuff. Skating. Yeah, there's probably going to be another channel coming up soon because I uh, how long do you think until I just like drop dead from like exhaustion and then you know you guys as long as you keep your out. beanie charged you'll be good yeah every night i have to plug it in it's all it's we're good all right okay where were we at with these super chats do 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 thanks for checking out this segment from the timcast irl podcast we do the show every monday through friday at 8 p.m sometimes an hour or two and we do have a full live recorded version of the show that includes a lot of comments and smaller segments you probably don't see. If you want to check that out, you can watch live at 8 p.m. Monday through Friday or become a member of this channel. And for five bucks a month, you get full access to all of the recorded podcasts every day after the show. We make them available in the community section of this YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and stick around for more segments and more shows Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Thanks for hanging out and we will see you all in the next show.